read? Parents often say to me, read? You want me to get my kids to read? Are you crazy? Uh, My kids want to be only on electric devices, electronic devices. They want to be outside. The last thing they want to do is read. I've had kids try to imply to me that it would be nearly Amish or Mennonite if they were to be seen by their friends holding a book, as if they see it to be dated and obsolete. That is actually not at all true because we were we were created to feed on language. Right now, our culture is very much de-emphasizing language, and it's emphasizing images. But what is seen cannot be unseen. And so there's a lot of power in images, but we we actually want our kids to be deeply thinking and connecting with um, ideas. And the way to do that is for them to come through the written language. God makes a big deal about language. He says that he is the word. He says the word became flesh. The word dwells amongst us. He wrote the Bible. He watches over every single bit of it. So the Lord is showing us that language is extremely significant to him. It's a gift that he gave only human beings. So let's begin to elevate the value of language in our homes with our kids and then they began to see that we don't read because we're in school we don't read because we have an assignment we read because we're alive I breathe therefore I read because the whole goal is to get ultimate truth deep 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 not just into our brains like we talked about earlier where it's just all techie and factoidy but we want to dive deeply into true and meaningful ideas that as we process language as we go from the printed letter on the page that becomes a word word that then becomes a sentence, that becomes a paragraph, that becomes an idea. While you're doing that, you have time to actually think about the content. How does that measure up? Is that true? If it's true, then this. If it's not true, then that. That's exactly the type of deep, 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 deep thinking, the deep, deep understanding. Look at Ephesians 4.18 if you want proof of this, how significant it is to learn how to think deeply. And in our culture, where kids are going to have to be extremely independent about what's true and right, we want them to go through that process on a daily basis. So there is great significance in getting your kids reading. It's not just a little dessert. It's not just a little entertainment, although it's both of those things as well. Because we were meant to do it, God created us to enjoy it. The thing is just to get that which is worth reading and that which conveys ultimate truth to our kids. And that is right in the strike zone of this ministry here.